Praise the Lord. I am more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Let's be on our feet and begin to appreciate this great God this morning. We slept and he woke us up. We are in his sanctuary this morning. Let's glorify him in his holiness. 
Let's give him all the thanks that is due unto him. In this our covenant day of exemption, everyone upon this Mount Zion shall be exempted in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand, appreciate this great God for his mighty act, for his grace upon our life. He has protected us from Monday till this very day. Let's give him all the praise, all the adoration that is due unto him. We are in his sanctuary this morning. For upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of winners shall possess their possession. Appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Thank him in his holiness. For it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And his mercy is endured forever. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. And his court will praise him. Appreciate him. Thank him. Glorify his name. Thank him for the marvelous act that he has done in our lives. He protected us in our going out and in our coming in. He is due for our give thanks unto him. Appreciate him. Glorify this great God. Give him all the thanks that is due unto him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. If you have a testimony of which I know you do, rush to prosperity entrance and document your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put your beautiful hands to the Lord as we welcome the choir. Thank you, Jesus. No other name but the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of the Lord. No other name but the name of Jesus. 
Can he has given us the way to 
morning. Come on, celebrate him. Give him all the praise and all the glory. Our God is worthy. Father, we thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Now put those blessed hands together for Jesus and you may please be seated. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord and Master of the church, and on the behalf of his servant, the state pastor, our resident pastor, Pastor Isaac Folaji, I welcome you to this second special anointing, Sunday anointing service in this great month of June. Our call to worship is taken from the book of Psalms at chapter 124. Psalms 124 is our call to worship, which we shall be taking responsibly. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, verse 2, Then they swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Verse 4, very loud. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Verse 6. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Verse 8, the loudest you can. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Your help is here. Put us hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Please listen to the following announcement. Praise the Lord. Every worshiper is especially welcome to our covenant day of exemption and special monthly anointing service. Operation Change of Story. Praise the Lord. Be reminded that there is where to stand to take full delivery of our rewards from the just concluded Operation Change of Story. Among others, we must be found on duty whenever our rewarder shows up. Therefore, we must remain committed to the establishment process of all our new converts, ensure they attend BFS, Winners Satellite Fellowship, Midweek Services, and encourage them to attend WOFB as opportunity for such comes up. Special Prayer Mountain. Tomorrow, 13th June 2022, being a public holiday, there shall be a special national prayer session for divine intervention over the affairs of the nation. Time is 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. This is for divine intervention in these most challenging times. It is regarding security, the economy, and several other issues. Please note that Covenant Hour of Prayer continues from Tuesday to Friday, 6 to 7 a.m and on Saturday, 7.30 a.m. in the church and at various prayer centers across the city. Please find the locations as displayed on the screen. Admission into Covenant University. Good news. The admission into Covenant University for the 2022-2023 academic session is ongoing. All qualified applicants are to log on to the university website as displayed on the screen for details of the application process. Wovi, good news. The Word of Faith Bible Institute, Wovi, shall hold basic certificate course, BCC, from 20th June, 2022. All new converts of the just concluded Operation Change of Story should be mobilized to get enrolled for their establishment. Midweek communion service, Holds next Wednesday, 15th June 2022 at 5.30 p.m. We shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast. Winners Satellite Fellowship. Our House to House Fellowship holds this Saturday at our WSF centers, and our WSF study focus for the month is what is in the world. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. Praise the Lord. Today's edition of God's Wonders Today 
is available for this, with the sales team. The material contains a special column written by Pastor Mrs. Fito Idebo concerning marriage. Last Saturday's message and an amazing testimonies. Please pick your copies at 50 Naira from the sales team. Youth Alive Fellowship. All youth in FCT shall be meeting by 4 p.m. today in Durumi Church for the Youth Congress. Praise the Lord. Next Sunday, 19th June 2022, shall be our special anointing service. It shall also be our covenant day of marital breakthrough. Every siege over the marital destinies of every eligible singles in our midst shall be broken by the power of the word and the mystery of the anointing oil. Remember, all Sundays in the month of June shall be anointing services. Remember to take advantage of the free transportation by the church to bring in your family members, friends, by the friends, converts, and loved ones. Service schedule is at displayed on the screen. Jesus is Lord. Please put your hands together for Jesus. So some can be better. It is testimony time. Let's listen to these documented amazing testimonies. Financial restoration and miracle exemption. Why my sibling and I were in universities, my parents' business experience is set back. Miraculously, God changed their story and we experienced a turnaround. And our school fees at Covenant University were paid. So a week ago, the servant disrupted that we anointed our house and ourselves morning and night. My family came into it a few days ago. Armed robbers came into the mud came in multitude to our area. They covered the entire area and robbed all 28 houses, but our house was exempted. Praise the Lord. The testifying, a bureau man E. Number two, divine healing. Two weeks ago, my son fell E. My wife and I bought drugs for him from the pharmacy, but the fever persisted. On 22nd May 2022, my wife went to Pastor Isaac for lodging, sit and pray there. After the service, when we got home, she told our son to drink the anointing oil, and he did. Miraculously, he threw up a stone from his mouth, and now his head is fully restored. Praise the Lord. The testifier is Fabian. I praise. Who is the doer of this amazing testimony? In your seated position, say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This morning, it's my privilege to welcome a number of us worshiping with us for the very first time. If today is your first time worshiping with us at Living Faith Church Rumi, please could you rise up to your feet, both here in the main hall and in the science and wonder hall, rise to your feet in honor of Jesus. Give Jesus a big hand, church, as they rise everywhere. <laughs> Father, we give you thanks. Jesus is worthy of our praise. Please remain standing as our kingdom friends, the usher place to your hand, a special welcome booklet, and as soon as you get your copy, you may be seated. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you on behalf of Jesus, the head of the church, and the servant, our own resident pastor, Pastor Isaac O. Folaji. I want you to know that you have come to this mountain of science and wonder, and what this means is that every siege around your life and destiny is finally over. If you believe that, say, la, la, hallelujah. Let us commit us to understand that the company you keep determines what accompanies you. Lot was with Abraham, and the blessings in the life of Abraham begin to manifest in the life of Lot. You have come to the company of the blessed. The blessing in this house begin to manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. You have come to the company of the testifier. Testimony become daily occurrence in your life. You have come to the ever-winning family. You will not lose any battle in your life any longer. You have come to this breakthrough family. Breakthrough become your new identity in the mighty name of Jesus. But scripture makes us to understand that you cannot partake of any blessing in every prophetic family except you are planted. And the word of God makes us to understand that those that are planted in the house of the Lord, they are the ones that flourish in the court of the Lord. My charge for you, therefore, this morning is to be planted and settled down here. Take every word that comes from this exalted altar in instruction, in teachings, in prophetic direction, 
Walk with this world, and in no time, the world will work wonders in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shortly, you will not only come here to testify, but your name will be a testimonial. One more time for our first time welcome. You are welcome. Put your hand to Jesus. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. Right now in this first service, it is offering time. Let's quickly put together our worship seats, our tithes, which is one-tenth of God's increase in our lives. And every covenant obligation you have made with God, including your transportation and welfare seats, and ensure they are well labeled. Please, if you are worshiping with us online and you want to give electronically, take advantage of the details as displayed on the screen. As we put together our seed this morning, let's anchor our faith on scriptures according to Psalms chapter 20 from verse 1. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from his sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy bond sacrifices and grant thee according to thy heart's desire. This prayer shall be answered in your life and my life today. Rise with me, lift up your seed in worship, and water it before the Lord, celebrating him first of all for granting you and I the privilege to appear as sowers. Thank him for the willingness of heart to lay down on the altar and bless him for the assurance of harvest. Make sure your voice is heard this morning. Magnify the name of the Lord and glorify him in Jesus awesome name we have prayed please keep your seat lifted our father according to your word in the name of jesus christ we declare every giver blessed for titus we declare that your heavens be open wider for every giver here today you shall never be turned to a beggar on this covenant day of exemption financially you and i shall be exempted Lord, we give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. That amen can prove you are more than a conqueror. Amen. Please be seated, cast your seed with joy as we welcome the choir to minister. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, I'm exempted. I am exempted. Hallelujah.
exempted father by this service of today I will be exempted forever lift up your voice celebrate God for ordering your steps to Zion this morning 
Father, we give you praise. I can hear a voice of thanksgiving. Blessed is he who God hath chosen and caused to approach unto him. Lift up your voice. You have been chosen to appear in Zion. Thank you this morning. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus. At the end of this service, this will be your song. All through this year, this will be your song. No matter the evil in town, it will not come near you and your family. If you believe that, say, believe us, amen. amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please have your seat. Praise the Lord. I count it a great privilege this morning by God and my Father in the house for this privilege to bring the word of the Lord to us in this first service. I'm convinced that you will return home blessed in the name of Jesus. What practice secures profitable living? That's our teaching focus for the month, a prophetic focus. What practice secures profitable living? And in our Sunday services, just like God's servant opened up the subject in the first, first Sunday, we are continuing unveiling our breakthrough heritage in the world. Hallelujah. Unveiling our breakthrough heritage in the word of God. The word of God is loaded with breakthrough virtues for the saints. They carry your inheritance. Our inheritance are loaded in God's word. Praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 32, Paul said, Now, brethren, I commend you to God. That's number one. And then to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. And then to give you an inheritance. Say so with me, there is an inheritance for me in the word of the Lord. The Bible is not a storybook for Christians. It's not a textbook to carry to church. In it contains your breakthrough heritage. So anything that takes the word of the Lord away from you has stolen from you. Shout hallelujah. And how much you get out of God's word is not how long you be in church. How long you take your portion from God's word, how much you take from it is given to you as far as you can see. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Paul prayed for the Ephesian church that I pray for you every day. And what was his prayer agenda? Verse 17 and 18. That God will open your eyes so that you will see the hope of your calling and your inheritance among the saints. And that's my prayer for you all through this month. I didn't hear an amen. That the Lord will give you the spirit of understanding and wisdom in the knowledge of him. And that the eyes of understanding be opened so you can see what belongs to you. Praise the Lord. God said to Abraham, Genesis 13, verse 14 to 15. For as far as your eyes can see, it will be given to you. So all through this month, by the help of the Holy Ghost, your eyes will be open on what belongs to you. And as you take it, God will confirm it in your life. So number one, by the mirror of God's word, God will be showing you what belongs to you. Because the word of God is a spiritual mirror that reveals to you your identity. That shows you your packages in Christ. Number one, we are redeemed as a fruitful vine. Say with me, I am redeemed as a fruitful vine. Oh, you are not saying like a believer. Yes. That's what the word of God said. And it's the authentic image of a believer. Psalm 128 verse 1 to verse 6. Paint a picture of a man that feared God. Blessed is everyone that feared the Lord. That walketh by his ways. What will happen to that man? 
He said, he shall eat the labor of his hands. I thought he's talking about you. You shall eat the labor of your hands in 2022. So he's talking about all round fruitfulness as a matter of fact. Number two, he said, your wife shall be a fruitful vine. Praise the Lord. So anyone on that line, the medical report cannot counter the report of the Lord. So the Bible said to you that your wife is a fruitful vine. I thought I would hear an amen. amen. And then your children shall be like olive plant round about your table. That is someone's testimony. You are redeemed as a fruitful vine. Anything you do, your wife, your cattle, your animal, he said, none shall be barren. Not even your cattle. Shout hallelujah. So by the anointing in this service this morning also, the siege of unfruitfulness shall be broken from somebody. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28, God spoke a word to Adam. The Bible said, he blessed him and said, be fruitful. Praise the Lord. The same word that said, let there be light. And there was light. And there is still light. So it's the same word that said, be fruitful. Shout hallelujah. So that word has not been withdrawn. Shout hallelujah. The word for your fruitfulness has not been withdrawn. As long as there is still light, that word is still in part. Shout hallelujah. So if you wake up tomorrow morning, you see light, then you declare, I am fruitful. Praise the Lord. Number two, your inheritance of breakthrough. You are redeemed as a lively stone. Praise the Lord. You are redeemed as a lively stone. I'd like you to take this. This translates to dominion in your life. You win everywhere you go. You dominate everywhere you go. You conquer everywhere you go as a lively stone. Just look at a picture of a stone. What can happen to a stone? Sun, rain, stone is stone. Praise the Lord. You are connected to Jesus Christ who is the, the chief cornerstone. Praise the Lord. What joined this building together? Every rock, every block connected to each other. Is that right? And the Bible said that we are in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. We are living stones. We are built up as a spiritual house to offer spiritual sacrifices unto God. Praise the Lord. You are connected to the solid rock, the living stone. And if you are a living stone, then you cannot be touched by the devil. Praise the Lord. Anywhere you go, you dominate. Shout hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 to 21. He said, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 to 21. You are built upon the foundation. Let us verse 19 first. Praise the Lord. Verse 19, let us know that we have come to God, the family, the household of God. You are no more strangers or foreigners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Now, what is this house built upon? He said, this household of God is built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. And Jesus Christ himself is who? The chief cornerstone. And he's living the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are connected to that spiritual house. You are a living stone. Shout hallelujah. And can a stone be sick of cancer? Can a stone be destroyed by, by sickness and disease? Shout hallelujah. That's what the Bible said in Matthew chapter 21, verse 44 to 45. He said that stone, anything that come upon that stone, what will happen to it? It shall be broken. And whatever that so stone come upon, what happened? Grounded to powder. Shout hallelujah. So anywhere you are going, you are a rolling stone. Anything that is on your path shall be crushed in the name of Jesus. That's who you are. That's who you are. So you feel pain. Ask yourself, can a stone be sick? And if a stone cannot be sick, that stranger will check out of your body. 
That's dominion. That's your picture in Christ. Shout hallelujah. Number two, number three, sorry. You are redeemed as ambassador of Christ. Shout hallelujah. Not ambassador of Nigeria or of any country. You are the ambassador of Christ. Shout hallelujah. And you know what ambassadors enjoy is dignity and honor. So every trace of shame in your life is not acceptable. Every trace of rejection. Diplomats don't, don't queue on the passport line. Praise the Lord. They have diplomatic gates to go to the, to the plane. Shout hallelujah. They, they enjoy diplomatic immunity. So you are an ambassador of the King of Kings and of the Lord of Lords. I thought I would hear an amen from somebody. So you are not a Nigerian. You are deployed here to serve the interests of your home country. So I hear. Jesus said, you are, I am not of this world. He came with that mentality. I am not of this world. You are from beneath. I am from above. So the things that rule men in this sphere has nothing to do with me. Praise the name of the Lord. You will enjoy honor. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. Your redemption came with your diplomatic status. Shout hallelujah. Number four, we are looking at your breakthrough inheritances in God's word. You take it as what God is saying to you. You are redeemed as a seed of Abraham. Praise the Lord. And this translates to generational impact. You are redeemed as a seed of Abraham. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. What happened? Being made a cause for us. For it is written, cause is everyone that hanged on the tree. Why did he go to the tree? Verse 4, 14. He said that the blessings of Abraham might come to who? The Gentiles. Who, you and I. Through Jesus Christ. So you are connected to Christ. Then you are connected to the Abrahamic blessing. And one of the profound blessings for Abrahamic seed is in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29. Every Abraham seed is a global personality. He said in verse 29, Galatians 3 29. If you be Christ. Then what happened to you? Then you are now Abraham's seed and heir according to the promise. The question is, what is the promise? Genesis chapter 22 and verse 17 and 18. What did he say? He said, you are qualified to inherit the promise by your connection with Christ. And what is the promise? He said, in blessing, I will bless thee. In multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the sons of the heaven. And as the sons which upon the shore, seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gates of the enemy. Verse 18. And in thy seed shall how many nations? How many nations? So your only relevance is in Nigeria. You have not started. Your business is supposed to have a global status. Your career is supposed to be global. In thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. So and through Christ, you are now an Abraham seed. Praise the Lord. Somebody's business is hitting international headline news. In the name of Jesus. They will watch you in CNN. Yeah. They will invite you in CNN. Yeah. Every believer is a global personality. By redemption. Praise the Lord. So don't celebrate Nigeria. Nigeria is just the beginning. If your business, you are known in this country, then it's time to begin to go global. Praise the Lord. How do I assess this precious inheritances from God's word. I'm sure that's a question in somebody's heart this morning. How do I lay hold of this? Pastor, if I am an ambassador, if I am redeemed
as a fruitful vine, if I'm a lively stone that cannot be cheated and defeated, if I'm an Abraham seed to connote, command global attention, how do I lay hold of them? Number one, and this is very critical for every one of us, we must continue to work in the spirit. Say to your neighbor, work in the spirit. There are two different things from being born again, from being spiritual, and walking in the spirit. They are all different things. Praise the Lord. A great man of God gave illustration about our father, Bishop David Oyedeko. From the airport to Canaan land, he noticed the man thanking and in the spirit for how many times he quoted, he counted. Constantly in the spirit. The Bible said in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 25, if we live in the spirit, let us also do what? Walk in the spirit. Shout hallelujah. Walk in the spirit to help you maximize what the word of God is saying concerning your life. In Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10 and verse 11, John said, I was in the spirit in the last day. And what happened? I heard behind me a great voice. Divine signals are only given with spiritual frequency. Praise the Lord. Thank God for PDP and APC and the delegates who is going to rule. Please don't dominate your mind talking about politics all through your life, all through the day. And miss signals from God. Be spiritually conscious of your environment. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Be sensitive in the spirit. That's what we are saying. That's the only way you can pick divine signals from the word of God. That's the same way you can catch your picture from scriptures. Say to your neighbor, walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Number two. To assess our breakthrough inheritance from the world, we must remain committed to be guided by the Spirit. Remain committed. Remain dedicated. Be, be desirous of being led by God. Don't get to a point in your life that you feel you have arrived. Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 17 and 21. I am the Lord thy God who teacheth thee to profit and showeth thee the way that thou shouldest go. I am the Lord your God, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and showeth thee or leadeth thee in the way that thou shouldest go. And when he led them, verse 21, the Bible said, they tested not when he led them. Praise the Lord. He cleaved the rock and the waters gushed out. When people are failing, you are led by God, you break through there. People are saying there is no money in Nigeria and people are building skyscrapers. You will get your portion. I said you will get your portion in the name of Jesus. And finally, this morning, it's our covenant day of exemption. I'd like you to know that the God that exempted the children of Israel in Egypt is still the same God today. I thought I would hear an amen. amen. Stop dealing with God in the future. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi 3 and verse 6. Praise the Lord. He is the same one that delivered the children of God, that gave them that exemption is the same God you and I are serving today. You need this understanding. In Exodus, you know the stories of the plague. But something, in Exodus chapter 8 and verse 22, he said, I shall put a demarcation. Hallelujah. I shall severe in that day the land of Goshen in which my people dwell that no swarm of flies shall be there. Everything defiling destinies in this nation, there will be a demarcation. There will be a demarcation. So in redemption, we have the blood that speaks Passover for us. So I like to learn, how do I enjoy exemption? 
And this is very important, especially in the times and the seasons we find ourselves in the world today. Never in the history of the world, crime is so everywhere in the nation. Lawlessness everywhere. So the church need to come to terms with what it takes to enjoy exemption. Because the governments of nations have failed to provide security. But there is a government in heaven that never fails. Shout hallelujah. No matter the evil in this nation, it won't come near your family house. So to enjoy exemption, number one, we must as a matter of necessity, have a revelation of our exemption rights. You are not ordinary. You are not among the crowd. You are not just a Nigerian. You are a child of God. Praise the Lord. You must have that revelation of your exemption right. That no matter what happens in town, it can't touch me. You need to have it for yourself. Because my people are destroyed. For what? For lack of knowledge. Psalm 74 and verse 20. Make us know that there is a covenant of exemption. He said, have respect to the covenant. Why? Because the whole found, the places of the earth are habitation of wickedness. So there is a covenant. So you must have a revelation or understanding of that covenant at work in your life. That's one way to begin to enjoy exemption. Praise the Lord. And one of the revelations I want you to have is divine ownership. You, are, you belong to God. You are God's own property. Have that revelation. In 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4, what did he say? He said, you are of God. Say with me, I am of God. And so what happened? Greater is he that is in you than they that are in the world. You need to have that revelation of divine ownership. You are not just a slave. There's a religion that believes nobody is a child of God. We are all servants of God or slaves of God. But Christianity says you are a child of God. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says you are of God. You belong to him. So what is in you is greater than all the devils put together in the world. You need to carry that revelation around. Praise the Lord. That was what ruled the mind of Paul in Acts chapter 27 and verse 22. Death was imminent, destruction everywhere. No hope, no light at the end of the tunnel. Death was sure and the man stood up with the revelation of exemption. Of he, a divine ownership. He said, I exhort you, be of good cheer. Why? For there shall be no loss of any man's life among you except the sheep. What? Verse 23. Why do you say that? He said, because there stood by me an angel of the Lord this morning. Of whom I am. Whose I am. I belong to God. He can't sit in heaven and watch me drown in this ship. Shout hallelujah. Divine ownership. Whose I am and whom I serve. That's why I can say boldly that there shall be no loss. You need that revelation. And that's what we are sharing with you in this service. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Say with me, I belong to God. So nothing can touch me. In the village where we grow up from, if a goat eats your, your cassava, the first question you ask, whose goat is that? And if they tell you it belongs to the chief, what will you do? <laughs> if it is your neighbor, you will tie it and tie it in your house for the neighbor to return and come and look. But when you hear that it is from the chief palace, your hand is up. And you belong to the king of kings and the lord of lords. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Divine ownership. Number two. To enjoy exemption number two, keep the love of God in your heart. Let it be ever burning in your heart. Let nothing contest with the love of God in your life. It's, it's an invitation to God. Where God sees love, he comes down there and what he does, he put a shield there. 
Praise the Lord. If you hear now that there is an explosion in Guagualada, God forgive, God forbid. Praise the Lord. And your brother, your sister, nobody connected to you is staying there. There is a way it will affect you. Am I saying the truth? He said, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. God have mercy on them there. Praise the Lord. But if it's in Maraba and your mother is there, your brother is there, your sister is there, the first thing you do, my God, you carry your hand on your head. Love is magnetic. Am I saying the truth? So when you keep your love of God in your heart, it magnet, magnetizes God to you. Psalm 91 and verse 14. Wait, don't celebrate Psalm 91 from verse 1 and forget verse 14. That's where the condition is in Psalm 91. He said, because this man that dwell in the secret place of the Lord, this man that 10,000 fall by his right and 11, 10,000, 1,000 the other side. He said, because this man has set his love upon me. That is why I would deliver him. I will set him high because he had known my name. So everything contesting with the love of God in your life, he wants to take away your defense. Praise the Lord. And God's love is demonstrated in your commitment to souls. It's demonstrated in your giving to promotion of his, his kingdom. It's demo demonstrated in your following up of convert. That's how God knows that you love him. Praise the Lord. I say praise. Number three, to enjoy exemption, remain dedicated to kingdom advancement endeavors. Operation change of story is over. We believe God for the next operation because I don't like this uh, uh, vacation we are. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Operation change of story is over, but the work of the kingdom is not over. Be committed, dedicated to kingdom advancement endeavors. Exodus chapter 23, verse 26, 25 and 26. Praise the Lord. Grace to continue serving, following up on your convert, doing what you are doing, you know that you are doing. That is what he keeps. When the children of Israel rested in first, second Chronicles chapter 15, the Bible said they left God, they left the word of God. And what happened? There was vexation everywhere. But when they returned back and make a covenant to serve God again, what happened? He gave them rest round about. So please receive grace to remain connected to serving God. It's your security in life. Praise the Lord. He said, on that day, Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18, I will spare them. As a man spared his own son that does what? That served him. And you shall return and discern between the righteous and begin the wicked. Between him that served God and him that served him now. When the chiefs are down, God would identify his servants. He said, let my people go so they may serve me. So commitment to continuous service keeps the defense of God round about your life. Praise the Lord. And finally, to enjoy exemption, you must speak of your exemption boldly. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Remember the tongue, the power of the tongue. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You say, open your mouth wide. Psalm 81 and verse 10. You must continue to speak boldly your exemption rights. You must declare before God will confirm. It is what you say openly that God confirms. What you say boldly that God confirms openly. If you are afraid to declare it, God cannot confirm it. Shout hallelujah. Say anywhere you like that. No matter what happens here, it is minus me. Why? You know what you are talking about. You are not guessing. You are speaking from the abundance of revelation. Praise the Lord. So I declare over your life, no matter the evil in town, it will not come near you. Yeah. And that was what Paul did. If he had kept quiet in the ship, they would have all drowned. He said, there shall be no loss. Because I'm here. I belong to God. I'm a salmon of God. I can't die like a chicken. And God said, Paul, relax. 
everyone with you will be saved. Because of you, anywhere you enter, everybody there will be saved. In the name of Jesus. You travel in the car because of you, it is saved. You are in the air because of you, it is saved. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. A bike man was carrying me. And all I attempt to tell him, oh boy, take her easy. He was just, and I became afraid. But and I now told him on the back, I said, my friend, if this bike crash now, you are the only one who will die in this vehicle. He turned from back to look, am I carrying a human being or a spirit? Praise the Lord. And from that moment to where I was going to, it was now normal. Praise the Lord. <laughs> if this bike crash now, you are the only one who will die. Why? I'm speaking boldly. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. I have given you a mouth and a wisdom and no devil, no adversary will resist you nor can say you. So open your mind wide and God will feel it. If they are bombing all the churches in the world, none will come near the living faith family. There is a hedge of fire around about us. Shout hallelujah. If they come near your estate, they can't touch your house. See, you must declare it boldly. Let the devils hear. You hear the way our father Roa in Canaan land. He said, they are, they are not born to come here. Shout hallelujah. That will be your testimony. And today, special anointing service. What does the anointing with oil offer? Quickly, this morning. What does the anointing with oil offer? It is important for us to understand it. Or else it will be a religious thing. You just carry oil about. No. You must have an understanding what this oil offers to you. Praise the Lord. Number one, it put the exemption seal upon your life. Say amen. It put an, an exemption seal. A seal of God. A seal of God. is coming upon you this morning. As God's servant comes up to pronounce you anointing on you, it will put a mark on your life. You are not saying amen. amen. Psalm 105 verse 13 to 15. When the one from one place to another. From one kingdom to another people. What happened? The Bible said, he did not permit any man. Say with me, any man. Both in government, headsmen, headswomen. Everyone, no man to do them wrong. Both demons, both witches. He reproved kings, principalities and powers. For their sake. And what did he say? Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Praise the Lord. Somebody saying but I'm not a prophet. You are the prophet of your own life. Say with me I'm the prophet of my own life. So there is a touch not mark. That's what the anointing will do for somebody. This morning. Say I hear. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13. After you have received the gospel, you have trusted in him and you have believed it. What happened? You are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. It's a divine seal on the believer. Nobody tampers with anything sealed by the president. They call it presidential seal or royal seal. You don't tamper with it. Am I saying the truth? Even some products, they say if you don't buy it, if the seal is broken, means there have been contamination. There's, there have been something wrong. Praise God. That seal is coming upon somebody. And it's a seal of fire. It's a hedge of fire. When you talk about the spirit, we're talking about the fire of God. Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 5. He said, the Lord will be unto you a wall of fire round about. When they see your children, they will see fire. When they see your business center, they will see fire. A wall of fire round about. And the glory in the midst of her. You will be shining, you will be shining, and the fire will be surrounding your life. Shout hallelujah. That's what this oil will do for somebody. Praise the Lord. And when the fire is burning, no wild beast can come around. 
Let me give you a story in First Samuel chapter 19. I don't know if you know it. Verse 18 to 24, talking about Saul and David. Whatever is pursuing men in the world, when you come under the anointing, the periphery of the anointing, you become untouchable. It's a seal for the believer. Saul has been chasing David everywhere. And David said, no, I need to run under the anointing. And he ran to prophet Samuel. How many of you know that story? <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so, I'm trying to let you know that the anointing brings a seal over your life and my life. Amen. So, Saul heard that David is there. He said, yeah, go and kill him. He sent the first set of army. When they went there, the Bible says, the spirit came upon them and they began to prophesy. Praise the Lord. He waited for the report that David is dead. No way. He sent another team. When they get 100 kilometers around where they are, the anointing came upon them and they began to prophesy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And they thought, I mean, the enemy doesn't give up. But whatever is chasing you today, they are coming under fire tonight. I said they are coming under fire this morning. Whatever I've chased your family and make life miserable, they will come under fire this morning. Yeah. And finally, Saul said, Maybe they are bribing these people. Let me go by myself. Praise the Lord. And when he came close to where David, under the anointing, under the prophet, anointed of God, and Saul came close, the Bible said, His own was worse. He stripped his soul naked. And began to prophesy from morning till night. Whatever is pursuing your life, they are coming under the fire of God this morning. No matter the evil happening in town, the seal of God is round about your dwelling. In the name of Jesus. And now, Saul, David went under the canopy of prophet somewhere. But now, you carry the anointing of God upon your life. Praise the Lord. Number two. What is in the oil when we anoint the yoke destroying power of God? Praise the Lord. The yoke destroying power. So every yoke that came with you here this morning, I'm preparing your mind for God's servant to come forward and declare over your life. Every yoke, everything that constitutes a yoke in your life that have refused to go, that have defied medical uh, remedy, today by the anointing, it shall be broken. Every spiritual spell, enchantment, divinations, every word men have spoken that is working against you, whatever will not allow you lift up your head, this morning by this anointing, it shall be destroyed. Amen. Isaiah 10 verse 25 to 27. God servant, open my eyes. I'm always looking at 27. I've never really taken note of verse 25. And it has blessed my life. It says, shortly the indignation shall cease. I thought I would hear an amen. amen. As they are just thinking about it, something will happen to them. Amen. As they are contemplating it, something will happen to them. Amen. The indignation that brings the yoke shall cease. And in case the yoke has already been put, he said it shall be destroyed by the anointing. And this morning, that will happen here this morning. You came here sick, you return here set free. You came here barren, that yoke will be broken. Joblessness will be broken today. How can you be looking for job January till now? That yoke is broken forever. And number three, the breakthrough power of God. Shout hallelujah. Breakthrough power is in the anointing. Where people are rejected, you are accepted. Doors that refuse to open as you appear by the anointing, they open. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. Thus says the Lord to Cyrus, to his anointed. He says, his right hand I have hold him. By the anointing, I will go before him and make crooked places straight. Did you hear the testimony here some time ago? People are struggling for, 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 for contract and the anointing went ahead and made the way for a daughter of Zion here. Praise the Lord. I will make crooked places straight. I will loose the loins of kings. They will open unto you the two leaf gates. I pray for you this morning that loins of the kings in your department, in your pursuit will be open for you doors will open to you for your, their own accord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please 
Stand to your feet, lift up your voice. Give God praise this morning. Something is about to happen to you. Father, I thank you. Wave your hands to heaven. Stand to your feet, everyone. Father, I thank you. Give him praise. Give him all the glory. Is somebody celebrating God for his world? Father, thank you. Begin to declare your, your, your heritage. I'm a fruitful vine. Begin to declare it. I am an ambassador of Christ. Begin to declare it. I'm a lively stone connected to Jesus, the chief cornerstone. Anything that come upon me is broken. If I go after anything, it's grounded to powder. Lift up your voice and declare it. Lift up your voice and decline. I'm a seed of Abraham. I cannot be stranded. No embassy can deny me visa. I'm a global personality. Somebody go ahead and make those declarations. Father, we thank you. Give him all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Principally, Paul said, I belong to God. There shall be no law. They say, why did you say that? He said, there stood by me an angel of the Lord, whose I am. You cannot claim that God is your father here. This is your opportunity. Praise the Lord. All eyes closed. All heads bowed. Giving your life to Christ is not joining a church. It's joining the family of God. And then your exemption right is established automatically. And the anointing this morning begin to minister in your life. I want to pray with you this morning. Nobody is interested in this. Just you and your destiny. This is June already. This is June 12th already. The year is going. You won't end this year without a testimony. Step out here this morning. The grace of God is upon this altar. You want to make your life straight with God. You want your sins forgiven. You want a brand new life. You want to move from darkness to light. Where the canopy of God can speak in your life. Church, encourage them. They are there. You are listening to me from the signs and wonders hall. The next hall. Please, this invitation is for you. Wherever you are, you are not born again. This is your opportunity to make it right with God. Church, keep clapping for them. Encourage them. And in case you need to come out, don't be the one clapping for others. So step out this morning. Let others clap for you today. Are you coming wherever you are? Man or woman? Boy or girl? Young or old? This is your hour. Keep clapping for them and let's welcome our father. Keep clapping. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Is that the, hallelujah. Is that the best way you can celebrate God? If thoroughly you have been blessed by the world this morning, I thought you're clapping and shouting and giving praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This church, be seated. In case you know you need to give your life to Christ or rededicate your life to Christ, don't miss out on this opportunity. The jungle is maturing. Evil is multiplying the world. Please come for safety. God bless you. In case you want to come, come and join them. The door is still open. Because if you are not saved, you are not saved. If you are not saved by Christ, you are not saved in this world. Wherever you are, come and join them. All of us in front, right? place your right hand upon your chest. And say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, Forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. From today, I will serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Now I know I am born again. Amen. Now let me pray with you. Father, thank you for these precious souls. Thank you for your grace that has saved them today. Let your blood avail for them. Write their names in the book of life. Keep them to your second coming. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please open your eyes. You have heard from that powerful word. You now belong to God. Say, now I belong to God. I'm not here. Say, I belong to God. Say, I belong to God. No evil can come near me. For my sake, everyone related to me, they are safe. Shout a stronger amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, 
you need certain information that will help you. Our officials, our pastors, I look to my left here. I have our pastors there. Please follow them right now. You take your own anointing over there. Church, if you have been blessed this morning, I thought you were still clapping for my Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know whether we know this song. We normally sing in the children's church. I am fearfully made. I am wonderfully made. I belong to God. I am what? Come on now. I belong to God. I resemble him. I am wonderfully made. Hold it, I am hold it, hold it. Hold it, so. Say the words so that they can pick it. You must sing that because it's a prophetic song. Because by the anointing, it will be clear to all that you belong to God. Oh, I'm not hearing your amen now. Yeah. Can you give us the words? Wonderfully made, I am fearfully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. That's why the devil trembles whenever he hears me singing. I am God's own, I am the apple of his eyes. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am wonderfully made, I am fearfully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. I am wonderfully made, I am beautifully made. I belong to God, I resemble him. That's why the devil trembles when he enters me. I am God's own, I am the apple of his eye. That's why the devil trembles when he enters me. I am wonderfully made, I am beautifully made, I belong to God, I resemble Him, I am wonderfully made, I am fearfully made, I belong to God, I resemble Him. That's why the devil trembles when I die in this city. I am God's own, I'm the apple of His eye. I belong to God. From today, not one evil is permitted to come near me. By the anointing today, the CNN mark, you are not saying it very well right now, the come not near mark. Say me the CNN mark. Come not near mark. Is coming over me, and for my sake, everyone connected to me shall not see evil, shall not experience evil. No evil will come near my life. No evil will come near my family members at home, abroad. No evil shall come near my business for my sake. No evil shall come near my estate. No evil shall come near my street. For my sake, when I'm in the plane, the plane is safe. For my sake, when I'm in the vehicle, the vehicle is safe. For my sake, when I'm on the road, the road is safe. If you agree, shout your stronger amen. <laughs> He said, you shall have what you say. You shall have what you say. Say me, I shall have what I say. Bring out your bottle of oil. Say, by the anointing today, the mark of heaven, the mark of exemption from every evil comes upon me, comes upon my destiny. By this anointing, I receive 
upon my destiny. Heavenly seal that cannot be penetrated by any evil arrow in the day, in the night, in the air, on the road, while I'm sleeping. From today, I am immune. I am exempted with all that is connected to me from every evil. If you agree, shout a stronger amen. amen. Sephaniah chapter 3, verse 15. For the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. And if the enemy shall come like a flood, he said the spirit of the Lord shall do what? Now look at the second part of that scripture. That scripture, mark it from today. It becomes your inheritance for life. I said it becomes your portion for life. I said mark it very well. He said, thou, say me. Mention your full name, Isaac Olusha Gufolaji, <laughs> and family, and lineage, and destiny, shall not, shall not, see any evil, anymore, forever. Now raise your voice and pray right now. Raise your voice and pray right now. By this anointing upon my head, I shall not see evil, my siblings, my cousins, my children, my wife, my husband, <laughs> everyone under my pastorate. I stand as a Samuel over the house. Under this liberation commission, I stand as a Samuel. Every soul pursuing Chasing, how to hurt, how to injure, how to afflict everyone under my pastorate. Heaven strip them naked. La rekete kete mproto le bala. Jan kakara kate kete. Ratotom prekete le mo yam prakata le bala. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, they, as they went from one nation to another, and from one kingdom to another kingdom, he suffered no man. Say me, no man. No matter their name, in government and out of government, in power and out of power, no matter where they came from, he suffered no man. And I am the Lord, I change not. He allowed no man. He prevented no man. He reproved kings for their sake. Now from today, by this anointing, everyone who has ever done you evil and who had vowed never to repent, today I decree judgment against them. Today, they will sleep, they will not wake up tomorrow. The water they drink will become poison to them. The food they eat shall become poison to them. Hear me this morning. I am executing the mandate of the commission that has sent me. I didn't wander and want to go my way to this place. I am sent. He said, by a prophet, the Lord brought them out. By a prophet, they were preserved. Whatever evil has overtaken anyone here, I invoke the prophetic grace back in the commission. Brings about your deliverance today. Anyone belonging to this house in the custody of the wicked, today I command instant rescue. 
today, I decree your supernatural preservation. There shall be no loss of life. There shall be no loss of business. There shall be no loss of property. There shall be no loss of honor. There shall be no loss of prosperity. There shall be no loss of pregnancy. There shall be no loss of children. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me? I am prophetically loaded this morning. Stretch your hands here. Rakata katam proto libala. Jem prekete keta kota kara. From today, he will will never catch up with you. From today, you will become too fast for every evil. Oh, I don't think you hear me at all. I said from today, you will become too fast for every evil. I said from today, you will become too late for any evil. Every evil shall be minus you and your family. From today, whatever is making order to shed tears of sorrow, it shall excuse you and your family members. Now put your right arm over the cup of your bottle and place it over your forehead and begin to prophesy this morning. From today, I have become God's anointed. He said, touch not my anointed. I have become God's anointed in this commission of liberation. I have become the anointed. Today, 12th of June, 2022, I am now the anointed of God. Anointed not to be messed up by any evil. No evil. In the day, no evil. In the night, no evil. Why traveling? La rakata kote mproto le bala. Jem prekete kete. Ratakata kata kata. Jem prekete kete kato mproko tale. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said in the name of Jesus Christ. By this anointing, the marks of heaven is here by a place over your life. By this anointing, whatever is troubling men on earth, it shall be minus you and your family. Nothing will trouble your health. Nothing will trouble your business. Nothing will trouble your family. Nothing will trouble your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now this morning, you know, they say attack is the best form of defense. You need to go on the offensive. That from today, anyone that dares think, entertain a thought of hurting, of harming you or your family members, on the spot, they are overtaken by that evil. He said, and as I prophesy, he said, Pelatia, the son of Beniah, did what? Died. Ezekiel chapter 11. He said, as soon as I prophesy, Pelatia did what? Every Pelatia of this nation that will not allow people to travel safely on the road, sleep, move around very well, Wherever they are hiding, as we prophesy today, we decree their instant death. Now pray with understanding. Look at that scripture again. Ezekiel chapter 11. It said, and it came to pass. Same, it is coming to pass. Today, as I prophesy, every Pelatia in this nation, no matter their guys, no matter who sent them, every Pelatia, and their sponsors, and their backers, and their collaborators, and their sympathizers, as I prophesy today, they are dying. They will not live to see seven days. Raise your voice and prophesy right now. Raise your voice and prophesy. Raise your voice and prophesy. Raise your voice and prophesy. 
Rangalem brought all about a Gadagata. Every kidnapper, every ritual killer, every armed robber, every terrorist, every bandit. Rateke teke tem broto leba. Yakara kata karama tem broto leba la. The horrors of death invade your camp. Wherever they are hiding, in the forest, in the city, in government, wherever they are gathering, the arrows of death invade your camp. Yakara katam brotole balakata kata. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You heard the testimony? That daughter of Abraham said the son was having challenge and he took the oil and anointed. And what came out? Same stone. Whatever constitutes a disorder, a discomfort, a disease, a health concern, as you take this oil today, you will be eternally exempted from sickness. Have you ever heard that they admitted a stone in the hospital? As you take this oil today, your lively stone heritage in Christ come alive supernaturally. Are you ready? Take a little and drink it for your total health. Total exemption from sickness, from high blood pressure, from hypertension. Raise your voice and declare the exemption of yourself and your family members. Mention the name of the sickness, whatever sickness it is, whatever is hereditary sickness, hereditary affliction. Even all our children, as they are anointed, not one sickness will survive. Not one sickness. High blood pressure is over. Diabetics is over. Paralysis is over. No one shall be a victim of stroke. No one shall be a victim of cancer. Every form of fibroid, totally over. Every form of reproductive disease, respiratory disease, heart palpitation, whatever it is that's not making anyone to enjoy their health, but the anointing, totally over. Totally over. Totally over. Totally over. La rekete kete mbroto le balakatakara. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. Do you know that by the anointing today, you will not need to spend your money to maintain your health again? From today, you are initiated into a sickness-free life from today. Oh, that amen is not strong enough. And so shall it be. Please get seated and give my Jesus a big shout of praise. So the oil in your hand is already sanctified. It carries the spirit of God. And anywhere you anoint, anyone seeking to chase you as they were pursuing David and he came under the spirit of God, you will strip them naked. No devil crosses the gate of your house. No devil molests you again forever. So anoint your house, anoint your offices, anoint the pictures of your family members. Satan is under torture throughout this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree, shout another strong amen. amen. Now from that powerful word we have heard, please serve God. See, I will serve God. I'm not hearing somebody now. The loudest you can. You are not helping God, serving God. You are helping yourself. If they obey and serve me, they who are serving, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Please, don't just come to church and shout and scream amen to prayers and you are not adding value to the house of God. 
and those in service unit and do it faithfully. Don't come late to your service point of duty. Don't just occupy space there. Be hard in value. Let them miss you when you're not around. Don't just be there for being sake, for their sake. Playing with service is playing with your security. He said, and thy God, whom thou servest continually, is he able to rescue you from the den of lions? He said, that's it. My God sent his angels and shot the mouth of lions. Lions were turned to pet for somebody who is serving God continually. You know, in company, they are what they call long service award. There are people who have not served God continually for 12 months unbroken. They serve for one month, go on vacation, and come back again. There are things you will never get in this kingdom until you are serving God constantly, consistently, and continuously. The three C's of service. Please, the jungle is maturing. In the last times, he said there will be perilous times for the people who are not serving, but it will be glorious time for those who are serving. By the anointing today, the grace to serve without failing, without being weary, without being discouraged, may you receive it today. Yes. So this Sunday, next Sunday is the third Sunday. It's our operational Sunday. It's a week to engage. So there will be outreach on Tuesday, 8 o'clock, for those who are chance, on Thursday, 8 o'clock, for those who are chance. And on Saturday, general outreach. Say me general outreach. Please, don't go on break. Please tell me about don't go on break. And you cannot determine how you serve God. You can't tell me, excuse me, I'm a sanctuary keeper. The, among the physical things you are doing, you must be part of those who are winning souls. You must talk to somebody about Christ. You must go out of your way. You must invest your time. You must invest your resources. It's a new day for somebody already. Nobody here will fail. Nobody here will disappoint God. Quickly, as we close the Sabbath this morning, today's your first time on Sunday morning to worship God in this church. Let me pray, church, do me. I want to recognize you and welcome you specially. Please stand to your feet. God bless you. It's your first time. God bless you. Please stand to your feet right now, wherever you are. Your first time on Sunday morning. Carry your bags, carry your Bible, and whatever you come to church with, and come toward this altar right now. I thought we were clapping for them very, very fast. They are coming. They are coming. Remember next Sunday is our covenant day of marital breakthrough. Say be marital breakthrough. I'm not hearing the church. So for singles, for married, for widows, for widowers, and all of that, everybody will be covered in that wonderful service. It's going to be an anointing service also. You keep bringing your oil and fresh grace will come upon that oil in Jesus. So they are still coming. I thought we are still clapping for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you please bow down your head for a word of prayer? Father, thank you for these precious ones that you have brought into this church for the first time. Father, every word, word of blessing from the message to the ministration, let it begin to answer in their life. These particular ones, not one evil will come near you. You have come into this winning family. You will never know defeat again in your life. You will never see evil again in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please open your eyes. We are so excited to have you in our midst. We love you. And because we love you, we want the best for you. Please don't miss out. Next Sunday, Covenant Day of Marital Breakthrough. Every form of marital crisis, marital spell, will be totally destroyed. All categories of people will be covered. The singles, the married, the widows, the widowers, and all of that. Please come and come with others. But for more information that will help us, please look to my left right now. There's a pastor to my left here. Please follow them right now. God bless you. God bless you. I thought somebody say clapping for Jesus right now. All the youths in the house, shout a big hallelujah. Oh, that's not a U-T hallelujah. I said all the youths, shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Now a revival is breaking forth already in the youth camp of our commission. This evening, by 4 p.m., all youths all across our churches in FCT will be gathering here. So all the youths, if you want to clap, you can clap very, very fast. All the youths, 
We are the host. Everyone do me here. We are the host. So anyone who is a youth, you are not permitted to be absent. You are not the what? Every other appointment, I want to encourage you, counsel them, be part of the meeting this evening. The time is 4 o'clock. And we have our national youth officials. We have them around, sent by servant, the apostle over the commission. Even this morning, we have our national youth pastor, Pastor David. What is this with us? I thought you were giving Jesus a big shout of praise. They have been around since Thursday. I am. Since Thursday, Friday, and yesterday. And today, the final meeting will be coming up by 4 p.m. He didn't come here alone. He also came with Pastor Yotunde Adekola, the assistant national youth pastor. He's also here. You're welcome. We also have our assistant national youth pastor in charge of campus fellowship all across Nigeria, Pastor Igben Emmanuel. You're also welcome. Praise the Lord. So please, all the youth, be part of this meeting by 4 o'clock. You know I'm a youth already. I don't know about you. Abraham was a youth. He said, your young men shall see visions. And Abraham saw visions as what? As 75. I don't know about you. Me, I'm a youth. You are blessed already. I said, you are blessed already. Amen. I said, you are blessed already. Amen. Now, remember, very important also, tomorrow morning in all our churches in Nigeria, we'll be having a special prayer meeting. It's a public holiday, 6 to 9. What time is it? It's a special prayer mountain. We are praying for the nation. Jeremiah 29, verse 7. He said, in the peace of the city or the nation, that's, that's your peace. And your prosperity is tied to the peace of your nation also. Psalm 132. So, don't sit down at home, sleeping and snoring. Make sure you are in church to intercede, be among those who are laboring, so I become partaker. We have so many challenges in this nation. Security-wise, economic-wise, leadership-wise, we need to step in and pray. And as we pray, God will hear us. Oh, I'm not hearing your amen. Yeah. What time is it? I'm not hearing somebody right now. 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. tomorrow. In all our churches nationwide. Be part of that and the Lord will bless you. Now, the special meeting we organizing before has been postponed for tomorrow evening. You have been postponed. We let us know the new date. But every couple that has questions, we still have the box by the notice board here and by the sense I want to just drop it there. A new date will be announced for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, as you go, go in peace. As you go, favor on every side. As you go, mercies on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. Let's share the goodness with them fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Now, give it to your neighbor right now. All the days of your life, and you shall dwell. Now, before you put it on yourself, I don't want now. Remember, there's Bible school. Uh, two Mondays to come now. That is after this Monday, the Monday after, the 28th of uh, June. All our converts, let's ensure they are part of that Bible school. Please invest. Call your convert. Please sponsor them. But not one of them will be stranded. Whatever it takes for them to be part of that school, let's do it. And the Lord will bless you mightily. So in case also you have not been part of that Bible school, the BCC class is starting 28th of June, Monday. Next coming Monday. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And now finally upon yourself right now. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Amen and amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. Let's move on very quickly. The second service is starting in 60 seconds time. In case you came after the worship offering was taken, please do well to do a little offering with the officials on your way out. And you have a testimony to share in the second service. Please get to prosperity entrance. Prosperity entrance and officials will be there to take your testimonies.